Hello, everybody. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather tonight, but I am here for the Inside Star Citizen Review. We will also be calling a winner uh, to our giveaway tonight after uh, the Inside Star Citizen Review. Appreciate everybody here tonight. If you're on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. We're giving away a Crusader C1 with all the paints offered to us by Stunner. Very happy. Thank you, everybody, for, for all the support. Thank you, Wook Street. Thank you, Matt Sal. Without further ado, let's get going. As Alpha 323 continues its journey towards what's shaping up to be one of the biggest and most impactful patches of Star Citizen yet, we continue discussing the various aspects and features contained within. And this week, we're going back to Team Kian with a quick look at the updated you, lens Aether. and visor, loot screens, Thank and you, new Kim. shopping interface. What's the difference between the lens and the visor? It's down for soon, real, for real, whether you're wearing yeah. helmets or not. The visor is essentially your hood projected onto the helmet. So it's shown on the visor in front of your face. When you take the helmet off, you've been wearing a contact lens in lower, and that shows your hood as well. Of course, in a video game, you're going to need all that HUD information. You get information about your active status, your weapons, yes. Yes, yes. what you're holding. Notifications, your missions, your comms, your chatting, everything like that is part of the visor and lens. But we don't want to do it and just, it's magically there, right? You get the lens, it's right there. You have all the information projected on your eye immediately. And the second you put a helmet on, you will get the visor experience. It's making the UI diegetic. The big upgrade in 323 isn't so much new information, but it's a new dynamic system for showing and hiding widgets based on your current situation. So all the basic information that you... All this is sliding over from Squadron 42, all the UI work that we've been really marveling at has been sliding over into the PU. This is work that was done a while ago. It's nice to see this start to slide over the PU. And this then again confirms that Squadron 42 is coming closer than we all think. You would see, like, you need to know your health status. So you have all of these widgets telling you, okay, you're dying from this thing. You're, you have no oxygen. It's warning you of all the different hazards that you can meet out there. We've got regions all over the lens, and we can specify which widgets we show in them. For example, down the bottom right, we've got the weapons. We've got the control hints. And we've got low priority notifications, which can take up a lot of real we estate. still need work on if the nades. If something names. else shows on we still screen, need work but on would the overlap names. one of those, one of the low... We still need plenty of work on the nades. The nades are underwhelming. There needs to be a lot more work done with the nades. Those priority ones will dynamically turn off and it'll all fit nicely onto screen again. Previously, all notifications were shown in the center of the screen, which could get a bit busy. We've now introduced the concept of low priority notifications, which anything that's not super important to you will show in a box down in the bottom right of the screen instead of being loud and in your face. The Good. UI for the missions and objectives, again, that's all been updated. The notification should animate over to the right hand side of the screen where we've got our new objective UI. This presents essentially all the same information as the old objective UI but in a much nicer package. We've also reworked the weapon UI so you see a more detailed description of the weapon that you have and this new visor and lens That's has good. been adapted to incorporate uh, Matt Siles says he thinks the nades got a boost in the latest Evo patch in the patch notes. I hope so. I hope what we saw there wasn't the the uh, update, dude, because if that was, it's still very underwhelming. <laughs> the new minimap. Another aspect of our dynamic widget system is that we can yes, turn off yes, specific widgets yes. when, depending on what you're looking at. So if you've got your Moby Glass open, it can hide a lot of the widgets, maybe except for the Creatures are coming. Creatures are coming. If you're looking at a kiosk, maybe we just want to show the control hints on the right hand side and everything else can be easily hidden. So with the visor, we can now customize 
the content that you see, depending on the helmets you're wearing. And what this new dynamic region gives us beyond 323. Yeah, We'll be we're getting towards the end. Like I, I feel like we're getting we're getting there. Like this is all the gloss and the polish. You know, what I'm seeing is very positive. Everything coming down here, the pipes, very very positive. Be allowing artists to style things based on different visors and different missions and different purposes. The code for the different styles for manufacturers, etc., is in now. You can see the potential of having different visors for different helmets for these different roles. The next thing is to get the artists onto the job, really. In 323, the only specialized visor is going to be the combat visor that comes with the dynamic crosshair. But you can expect us to continue iterating on these visors in future patches. Good. So the loot screen builds on a lot of work that we've done in the personal inventory over the past few years. It's a new UI giving the player the possibility to just pick up stuff on the go. The existing personal inventory can be a bit cumbersome when trying to pick up ammo in a firefighter and things like that. So the new loot screen aims to address those issues. Now when I mean, how can you say it's not getting close when you're seeing all this work done in UI, right? I mean, like you're seeing automatic load times. If it's in the backpack, it takes a little bit longer. They thought about that angle. You see a new UI. You're seeing all these glossy kind of end finishing components coming down here. Everything is looking real good. And, and, you know, character creation, you're seeing, you're seeing all the things that are like kind of end game polishing, which is really interesting to me. The player goes over to a body or a box, it, it can quickly press F and this will bring up the new load screen. This menu is a simplified version of the player's loadout and the entity they are looting. Fix the star map, the right. the entity <laughs> items on the top and the players on the right. bottom. You can easily swap between both and equip things from what you're looting by just clicking or clicking and dragging. This screen is a more simplified version of the inventory. is to make the experience for the player to be quicker. Uh, Ostentatious is saying, is it true there was a legal claim for SIG to produce something of worth by 2025 and 2028 respectively? Uh, is this the reason why they're pushing to get 1.0 out, uh, out now? No, I don't think so, Ostentatious. I, I really don't think there's any grounds to that. I don't, I don't think that they would... Uh, feel threatened if they had like a legal claim you know uh i think they're going to continue to work on it at their own pace the way that they've done it the entire project ostentatious just my my opinion personally um i i think what we've been shown has always been what they're willing to show us you, you get what i'm trying to say there's so much work under the covers that has happened like look at 2023 as an example when star citizen content creators were telling you there was no work being done. Well, we knew that's a lie because we saw CitizenCon, right? We knew, we knew they didn't know what was up. We knew they weren't reporting truthfully. They, they, they figured, oh, we're not seeing a lot, so there's not a lot done. Well, they don't have to show us anything that they don't want to show us. And you got a lot of entitled kiddos out there that think that they, that the, the only things that we see are what they're working on, which we know we know because we're on DG360. We understand uh, development here. We understand game development. So, you know, there was pl there's plenty of work that's being done. There's a lot more work than people suspect. I think we're getting closer and closer to the end. Uh, big issues still. Server meshing, those big roadblocks, stability, these types of things, economy, are what I'm pounding the table on this year. But what we're seeing here inside Star Citizens the past few weeks has been the gloss, the polish. Usually when you see this in game development, you're getting towards an end phase. And I still think the Squadron 42 is going to be coming out a lot sooner than people think. We also now have a separate section for armor, which wasn't a consideration for Squadron 42. You'll just click a button and it'll take you to a new page and you can Thank you, swap your armor with who you're looting and see everything that they had equipped. We also have some contextual actions in the loot What's screen. Up, if Hammer? you are looking for ammo for a specific weapon, you can hover over that weapon and it will show you any magazines or attachments that will fit that weapon. 
and you can then quickly loot those Good, cool. or attach the weapon attachments using that menu. So when the player hovers a specific item, this will appear a uh, toolkit that will tell you the available actions, and that will include, for example, a single click to equip, a shift le I left click her. to I store it. We've also added a button awesome. to the loot screen to swap between that and the existing personal inventory view. The inventory will stay, it's not going anywhere, uh, and it's more for your management. So what you're seeing here is still, uh, the visuals are still for Squadron. We are planning to do a PU version, and that will come for this release. It's and our be, team's last so big edition, 323, is an updated shopping experience. So today, when you're looking to buy an item, you look at that item and you see a flat piece of UI on the left-hand side of the screen. You then need to interact with this item, and if the price is high enough, it will take you to a confirmation screen in the Moby Glass that shows you more information where you can confirm if you want to proceed with the transaction. All with right. the new Moby Glass being introduced, we took this as an opportunity to remove the old confirmation screen and update some of the UI around the shopping experience. We really Good. wanted to sell the idea of the AR lens actually putting things out in the world. You will see the overlay around the item with basic information. Uh, you will see the price of the item and your balance. We're no longer going to be directly interacting with the item to purchase it. We'll now have hotkeys that will be displayed on the card. You need to press these hotkeys for a certain amount of time in order to complete the that transaction. Makes more sense. The process will happen in the background and then you will get a notification if it was successful. Yeah, they're simplifying a lot of things. They're, ta they're taking some of the things where we are able to pick up and look at it and this type of stuff. They're kind of like nixing that and they're going for it. No pun intended. <laughs> Nix. Anyway, it's a Star Citizen joke. Uh, <laughs> they're taking a lot of the, the basic functions that were like the, the more hands-on realistic thing and they're speeding it up and they're just like, hey, you got an AR lens, boom, you want to buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. They're streamlining it. They're streamlining it is what they're doing. Another, another so thing that Squash 42 is bringing towards you have this interface with the information you need yeah. to see, it makes okay, sense. do I want to buy this thing? You just interact with it, buy the thing, done. and you're done. The default yeah. key for buying will be B for buying. Um, but if you don't like it, you can go to settings and then change the key binding like any other bindings. In it's like, it's like, what's the quickest way to look at this and get it in my inventory? Just make that happen. And that's what they did. And that makes sense. And that's smart. Again, end game kind of design. In our game. The same Polish. will be true for renting if it is a vehicle or something that can be rented. We also have the concept of quick buy currently, which just allows you to grab the item immediately. So the main reason that we made this change is because with the new visors, we have redesigned some of the apps that you have, like shown on the visor and shown on the Mobi Glass. We had the choice to either port the existing confirmation screen over directly as it is with all of the, its information, or update the experience to something more fitting with our game now. Obviously, which means quick, fast, get in my inventory. This part of the gameplay was never part of the gameplay that we wanted to spend hours on. Am I right? Put a one in chat if you think I'm right. These types of things need to happen quick, fast, so that we can get out there and get in the game and play the game. Like, it became to the point where this was too cumbersome. We spent way too much time doing this. People that have played this this long realize that this, is, this was cumbersome, you know? Right, right. Obviously, we still have the shopping terminals, so if you want to buy things in bulk, that's probably where Makes you go. Sense. But Makes when you're sense. just picking that one thing up quickly, like that. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that, that update. That is not So for anyone playing Star Citizen, 323 is going to mean a new visor and HUD experience that's just going to look way better than before. It's going to feel more diegetic. It's been about diegetic. polishing and improving and iterating on what we've already got in the universe. It's going to have the new looting system, which is going to make the flow so much quicker for you, as well as the new shopping system, looking nicer, being faster. Good, We're hoping fast. to provide a better experience to all the players so they have a more enjoyable experience with the game. And it's going to be a lot more enjoyable. Faster faster loads, hangers, updates, uh, shopping updates, animation updates, UI updates. I mean, this is huge. This is this, the, All these things are going to make the game experience so much better. I'm really proud of the work that everyone on this team has been doing. 
So what did we learn this week? Yes. Well, we learned that the updated yes, visor yes, system dude, will too, unlock too, artists too. to explore different interface stylings and designers to create more function-driven apps for the different manufacturers and purposes of helmets. That the new Squadron 42 looting screen is being adapted to the multitude of uses exclusive to the persistent universe. And how the new shopping interface aims to make finding and buying that item or vehicle in-game easier and more intuitive than ever before. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Thanks Good. for letting us share the process Good. of game Quick, development with easy, you. Easy, simple, we'll see let's you all go. Here next week. I like it. I like the changes. I like what they're doing. It's the right direction. Some people might get upset by it, but I didn't want like shopping simulator, and I don't think a lot of other Star Citizens wanted it either. <laughs> you know. Oh Jesus. Look at this stupid <laughs> meme. Every time I do it makes it seem like my hiring was so bad. And all I did was make Miss Roberts mad. And this is why I screwed up. This next line just rhymes up with up. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, man. that <laughs> That's the perfect way to end that. We're going to go have our giveaway. If you're watching on YouTube, please like, please share. Longest lasting review show of Inside Star Citizen ever. Uh, check us out. DG360 is the name. You won't... Uh, you won't regret it. It's a lot of good people here.